Conservatives are done with Ryan. Look who they want to be the new speaker. It's really unfortunate that our nation has a de facto two-party system. Of course, there are many other parties, but none have any chance of gaining power or exerting much influence. The worst part is the party that's supposed to represent conservatives is filled with a bunch of spineless clowns. For years, they've promised us the moon, whining that they can't pursue conservative policies until they gain power. Well, we've done our part, and look what it's gotten us. Nothing. Congress is a joke, hated by everyone, and rightfully so, especially by conservatives, who are betrayed time and again by their leaders. Worst of all, the head honcho in the House is a closet liberal who's been dragging his feet on everything Trump has proposed. He beats around the bush and says the most politically correct things, as it's all a front to hide his true agenda, which is to capitulate to the left at every opportunity. Paul Ryan wants to be seen as a pragmatist that will work with the other side and be bipartisan, but we all know what that means. And so do many of his colleagues who appear to be so fed up with his poor leadership, they're scouting for his replacement. As reported at the Federalist Paper, a group of over 30 influential House conservatives are discussing in private how to get rid of the ineffectual speaker, Ryan, from the Washington Post. The group has gone so far as to float the idea of recruiting former House Speaker Newt Gingrich or former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum as potential replacements for Ryan, should there be a rebellion. The Constitution does not require that an elected member of the House serve as Speaker, while the chances that a non-House member could mount a credible threat to Ryan are exceedingly slim, the fact that the group has even toyed with the idea underscores their desire to create trouble for GOP leaders if they believe their demands are not being addressed. Chairman of the House, Freedom Caucus Representative Mark Meadows, along with Trump's former chief strategist Steve Bannon, are some of the names involved with the uprising. On Wednesday, Meadows uh, Representative Jim Jordan and Representative Scott Perry took their concerns directly to Ryan, telling him in a private meeting in the Capitol that his failure to enact conservative priorities could diminish his support among conservatives. The Washington Post report quotes Congressman Dave Bratt as not yet in the Ryan must go camp, but stressing that it's the responsibility of Ryan to rally the troops and pass conservative legislation. We failed on Obamacare. We didn't do what we said we'd do. What's it going to look like on tax? What about the debt ceiling? No one is really sure. Ryan has been a colossal failure from the start. He's more concerned with getting neutral uh, spread in the New York Times than doing what's necessary to salvage this country. He was never entirely conservative anyway, and now that he's the top dog in the House, he's playing establishment politics and flirting with the left. Under his leadership, he hasn't overseen a single policy that has moved this nation to the right. With leaders like him, the GOP won't be conserving anything anytime soon. Instead, they'll leave us picking through the ashes of what's left of our nation. Yeah, Newt Gingrich would be great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Ryan is flip-flopping, and it's high time, you know, either, you know, uh, make the moves that are necessary or get off. Get out. That's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.